Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hawker Diddley Dumb's Top Secret Badger Works Design Labs. Uh, firstly, uh, let me to apologise for the noise um, from chaps next door wearing chainsaws, which is nice. Uh, today, we're going to have a look at the multimeter. Um, there are lots and lots of videos available on how to use multimeters and whatnot, but um, in this particular video, we're going to look at two very basic methods of using the multimeter, why we would use the multimeter, and what we can do with those results. So the two things we're going to look at is measuring voltage and current. So what I have here is a multimeter, a very cheap one that came from Fleabay. I have a 12 volt 1.2 amp hour battery and I have a heating element from a smoke generator. What we're going to do is we're going to measure how much voltage and how much current, how many amps, this heating element needs to operate. So to do this we need to connect the heating element to the battery. Now the simplest way to do this is with a piece of wire with two spade connectors and a bare end. And I will connect that and we'll see what happens. <laughs> So, as you can see, I've connected the wires to the smoke generator heating element. Uh, I have one wire going to the negative, and when I touch the positive, we get smoke. Simple. So what we do now is we want to measure how much voltage this is pulling. So to do this, we have the multimeter set up, we switch it to a suitable range. Now as this is a 12 volt battery we set this to 20 volts. We could use any of the other ranges but it's much easier to read at a more appropriate range. And we connect the smoke generator. And we can see there it's drawing 10 volts. simple. So it's drawing 10 volts out of a 12 volt battery. Now we want to see how many amps it's pulling. So to do that we need to change the setup slightly. So the first thing we do, turn the multimeter off, we take the red wire and we plug it in to the 10 amp slot. Now the next thing we need to do, and this is the important thing, is we need to change the wiring slightly because when we measure voltage we're merely if you like adjoining the circuit to measure amps we need to actually become a part of the circuit with the multimeter so what we need to do now turn the dial round to 10 amps to the 10 amp scale connect one pin of the multimeter to the wire and we touch the other pin to the battery terminal. And what this does is it means that the multimeter is now a part of the circuit. The power is flowing through the multimeter. This is now part of the circuit. Now watch what happens. And we're reading approximately 5.6 amps. Now you can see that that measurement is slowly falling and this is because the battery is discharging so it's supplying the amount of power it can supply is getting less and less and there we go so that's how we measure both voltage and current why would we want to do this well it's very simple this battery for example is a 1.2 amp hour battery which means it will supply 1.2 amps for one hour now as we've just seen, this element is drawing nearly 6 amps, which means two things. Firstly, this battery will power this heating element for about 6 minutes, which isn't very long. The other thing is, because we're, we're drawing far too much power from the battery, from what it's designed to draw, this battery, the life expectancy will be greatly reduced. So what we need to do is use the appropriate battery. 
Now we know this is drawing 6 amps, we can use a more suitable battery that will not only supply power for much longer, but it will also mean that we save the battery's lifespan. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is a lead acid battery. This has no overload or overcharge protection on it, which means that it will supply as much power as the connected device needs. If, for example, we want to use a lithium polymer battery, now this has overload and overcharge protection built in. What this means is if we were to connect this battery to this smoke generator, as it is now, this battery, the overload protection, would kick in and it would switch itself off. So we need to know how much power the device is drawing so we know which battery to use. And in this particular instance, the battery we need to use is this bad boy here. This is a 12 volt, 10 amp lithium polymer battery. So this will power that quite happily for approximately two hours because it's a 10 amp hour battery. So it will supply 10 amps for one hour. We're drawing between 5 and 6 amps, so this heat battery rather will power this heating element for approximately 2 hours. So we know if we're going out and about, we're going to a show, we're going to an event, we know roughly how long this battery should last for. So I hope that's been of some use. Uh, I know it's a very basic video, but the idea was to give you a rough idea of how to measure power output and why you'd want to do it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.